Hello, this is Industrial Control Circuit Troubleshooting 2, 6th module. Now we are doing extra skill test number 16. Okay, the work order that we received stated that the operator requests us to modify the PLC logics diagram in order to achieve the process time around 77 to 79 seconds and the mixture had to be pumped out to the next stage in five bursts or five different intervals. So let's dive in. <clears throat> so now we are request to modify the PLC logic diagram to ensure that the process timing keep to between 77 to 79 seconds. Okay, and the mixture of the fluid need to be pumped out to the next stage in five bursts, mean five different intervals. Okay, this is the available program that we have. Let's check the program, whether we are running on the correct program. This one, upon starting the tank, intakes both liquids until level 40 fluid is reached. The mixture is agitated for six seconds, rested for five seconds, then pump out. This is the wrong program because it did, uh, the mixture did not pump out in five bursts. So we need to change to other program. Program one description saying that upon starting, the system intakes liquid one until the tank is 40% full. The system then intakes liquid two until the tank is 85% full. The liquids are agitated for five seconds, then heated to 70 degrees while being mixed. After a five second pause, the mixture is pumped to the next stage. This is not the correct one because the mixture did not pump out in five bursts. So we still need to change to another program. Okay, program trail. The description stated that the tank fills to 85% full with liquids from intakes one and two in alternating one second bursts. Okay, while being agitated, the heating starts when the tank is full, until the temperature reaches 70 degrees, the mixture rests for 5 seconds, then it's pumped in 4 second intervals. That means they pump in, in 4 second intervals. Most probably, it will reach around 5 intervals or 5 bursts. So, this is the program that we need. So, we need to download this program to the PLC of the PLC CPU. Okay? Mm. So we can check what are the things we need to modify. It may look intimidating, actually it's quite simple if we understand the PLC logic diagram. So the good thing is we can run the process and observe what will happen. Okay, now it started, the mixture started to pump to next stage, one burst. Two burst. Three burst. Four burst. Fibers. Okay, the mixture is pumped out in five, six bursts. Okay, means six different intervals. So we need to modify the program. Now the process time is around eighty-seven seconds. This is not we want. We need we need to modify the program so that the process time remain about seventy-seven to seventy-nine seconds. Okay, and the mixture is. Pumping out is pumped out 
in five bursts instead of six bursts as we see just now. So in order to do that, we have to understand the program. Okay. Okay, you can see here. Okay. The stop push button, okay, is always energized. The stop push button is here, emergency stop. Okay. Here, emergency stop button. The external input device stop button or EMO always connected as normally closed. So the current always energizes the PLC input channel load at channel one. Okay. So because it's always energized, okay, the virtual switch, the virtual relay switch is always closed, is triggered to close. And as for the alarm light virtual switch is because we don't we did not is de energized the normally close will remain closed and the low float is this one because there's no water so normally close there's no water there's no current flow to the PLC input channel to energize so the virtual switch we normally close will remain closed so the current will flow through this path and energize both virtual memory relay and also ready light virtual output okay and this m0.1 okay since it, it is energized it will trigger the virtual switch to close so this is the external remote virtual switch for this one if we press this one it will trigger the switch this switch remote switch to close so the current will energize is PLC input channel and cause is related virtual switch to close and the current can flow through this path and energize this cycle like virtual output so this is the output colon O dot 3 okay so this will be energized always is energized always so we can straight away come to intake one and intake two this is a pulse either at the interval one second okay on off one second on one second off one second and repeat okay when it on the since the cycle light is always energized it will trigger its virtual switch to close and the water level still because now the water level is below 85%, there is no current to go inside PLC input channel to energize. So is virtual switch normally closed, remain closed. And the pump stage, okay, output relay is the energize. The is virtual relay switch normally closed will remain closed. And the current can flow through this path and energize intake one virtual output and intake one light virtual output okay when this one is energized what happened is this in is relevant virtual switch will trigger to open so the energize this parallel circuit okay after that this pulse will turn to off this will be de-energized and this relevant switch normally closed will remain closed and the current can flow through this path and energize both intake two virtual output and intake to line virtual output okay and this will continue to happen until you reach about 85 percent of the water level until this is happened the both the, the current can flow through the plc input channel energize and cause these two relevant virtual switch to open okay and we, as we know the water level is increasing more than the one percent it will trigger the low flow switch to close mechanically and the current will flow to the plc input channel and energize and cause its virtual switch to close and this flow and cause the current to flow through this parallel circuit and energize agitator virtual output and agitator light virtual output here okay and because the level once the water level reach 85 percent okay the level switch it, it will be triggered to close mechanically 
and the current we energize is 11 PLC input China 85 float and cause a virtual switch to close and the current can flow through this path and energize heater and heater light output virtual output okay then until the temperature reach 70 degree okay what happened is the temperature switch will close mechanically and current will flow through this PLC input channel and energizing channel 6 and we cause this virtual switch to trigger to open and the energize here okay so <clears throat> when the temperature is reached 70 degree it's not only and trigger this to close and water level 85% will trigger this virtual switch to close also and since the cycle lines is always energized this virtual switch will trigger to close and the current will energize this pump stage virtual memory relay and latch the circuit at the same time will cause this virtual switch to close and the current can flow to the timer on relay and energize it timer on relay just a relay but with timer or delay the delay setting is shown here four seconds meaning after four seconds it will be turned on or energized when this happened after four seconds it will trigger this virtual switch to close and the current can flow through this path and energize the pump and pump light output virtual output and cause the pump to run okay okay <clears throat> At the same time, because this is energized, it will trigger this virtual switch to open and de-energize timer relay one, timer on, timer on one, okay. And because this one is energized, it will trigger this virtual switch to close, and then current can flow through here to energize timer on two. After four seconds, it will start to on or energize and trigger this one to open so this will be de-energized and trigger this norm virtual normally close to remain closed and current can flow through here and start to energize and this whole process repeated in conclusion in summary it will wait for four seconds before the pump start to pump for another four seconds and the process continue to repeat okay so now we want to have the five bursts previously we get six bursts meaning we need to modify this timer so that it can pump longer maybe we can modify from four seconds to five seconds so that it can pump the mixture longer than four seconds so that it will reduce the number of bursts at the same time we need to reduce the process time we need to reduce the waiting time instead of four seconds maybe we reduce to three seconds so that less waiting time it will pump out more faster and the process time will be shorter okay so we need to set the plc mode to test in order to modify the logic diagram so this one we change to three seconds and this one we change to five seconds then we set the plc mode to run then we start the process okay now the mixture is start to pumping up first burst second burst third burst four burst 
Okay, fifth bus and the result passed. Five bus and process time is around 78 seconds.